part of your day with me. Well, this is the last of my fantasy drafts this year, and I am excited not only to get them over with, but to get to the actual games. We do have the Soul Series starting tomorrow, which I'm not necessarily going to count. However, if my players do well, I'll be excited. If they don't do well, then again, I'm not going to count that. This is another one of the Keeper Leagues. I mean, this is like a super deluxe Keeper. I'm not really a fan of it, which is, that's what it is. Keeper's Deluxe. So we're going over these very quickly as we are just over three minutes until we get to the draft. I do draft fourth, um, so you've seen some of the guys I have in queue. But we're going to go ahead and start with J2 Romuto. I treat my catchers like I treat my tight ends. If you have a good one, then you don't have to worry about it. You can set and forget. However, if you don't have a good one, if you don't have one of the top, I don't know, five, if that, I mean, because you can name at least five really good catchers, five really good tight ends, um, then you're going to be streaming. And I don't like to stream uh, anything other than pitchers. So we do have Real Muto in several leagues. Uh, Yandy Diaz, huge fan of him, very consistent. He's getting his power up, and he's in a lineup that has only you know improved over the years um the pitching is going to be there so he's going to be winning games and he's going to be in the opportunity to to produce for a team with other good players uh zach geloff love this guy good young player terrible team though so that's unfortunate i'm going to adjust this real quick um empty third base cj abrams at shortstop i don't think he's going to do as good as he did last year he stole 47 bases that is a lot of bases however washington is improving john in india hopefully he is going to get outfield eligibility because i have a very busy infield um but you know, outfield is also somewhat busy as well uh in any case john india is one of my favorite players he is very versatile and i mean one uh, rookie of the year for, or NL rookie of the year from a few years ago, and now he can't even find a spot in his own infield. That's crazy. Dalton Varsho loved him. Wish he would have kept uh, catcher eligibility, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, obviously, we have Romuto, so we don't really have to worry. Um, Lord Escorio Jr. loaded outfield in Arizona. Hopefully, he maintains his high contact rate and obviously keeps producing for me. Brandon Nimmo. And uh, also starting more, take two Mets players. Um, one's going to get me the hits. One's going to get me the stolen bases. Nate Lowe, he's going to be out for a while with an oblique strain. So it's a good thing we have someone else to man first. And we have some other guys down uh, below who can man first as well. Um, Jose Altuve, one of my favorite guys, even though I hate the Astros. He's one of my favorite guys to have fantasy because he always produces. Bryson Stott, second. Base eligibility, I think he had a uh, shortstop as well last year. We'll see if he gets that back. We're going to skip on down to some more hitters. Um, Xander Bogart, shortstop, not sexy but consistent. Uh, Lane Thomas, outfielder, I think he's going to do well in an improved Nationals lineup. I don't know if he's going to repeat what he did last year. And, okay, I don't have another first base. And I was thinking this was a – I have Olsen and Freddie Freeman in several other leagues, so I thought this was just one I did. Anyway – um, now we're going to get to the pitchers. Robbie Ray, going to start on the I.L. Max Scherzer, going to start on the I.L. Clay Holmes, I don't know if he's going to get many opportunities in New York because they keep messing around with him. Uh, 20 seconds away, Merrill Kelly, I think he's going to be great for an improved Arizona Diamondbacks team. Kevin Gosman, I hate having pitchers in the A.L. East, but he's good. Bobby Miller, doing great for the Dodgers, Joel Piamps going to be the guy, I think, in Milwaukee. Nick Pavetta, questionable, not getting the nod for starting day. Brian Abreu will serve a two-game suspension to open the series, or open the year uh, for the Astros. And um, Chris Bass, another AL East pitcher. And then we have Tim Meza, who is a pitcher, a relief guy for the Blue Jays. And then Cal Finnegan, another relief guy. Um, here we do have uh, Yoshi is first off the board. Um, some of the categories we have, saves and holds are two different categories. So I mean, that's something that I'm going to have to look at. Um, Jake Berger, ah, he obviously on my watch list. He's going to be my third baseman. So we're going to hope to probably get Cabrian Hayes. But we are going to go ahead and look at some more saves with Mr. Craig Kimbrell. If you know we get him in this pick. Hmm, so now it's just a waiting game. That's probably the worst part, but. No, especially because like, wait a minute, I, I want that guy. Or oh yeah, it's, it's you know twelve picks until I get to pick again. So this is gonna be a very short draft. We only pick uh, one, two, three, four, five players, which again I kind of like, but at the same time I don't because if someone doesn't have a good team and they still have to keep twenty six players, I fortunately had a pretty good team. I think I got shafted a little bit last year. I think I finished fourth. 
if I remember correctly. It was not my best team. Definitely was not my best um, year in this league. I've been in this league a few years, but um, hopefully I will get back to the ship. That's obviously the goal for every year, but um, we're still waiting. Apparently this guy is not in the, oh, nope, he's, or she, I don't know. I don't know anyone in this league. I just came across it one day in, I think it was a Facebook group, and it's like, hey, yeah, I want to I wanna beat you. So, yeah, they're like, cool, come try us. And I think I got to the championship once. Or maybe the semifinals and, and third overall. So, again, this this wasn't one of my better years in the league. Actually, now I think about it, I don't think I, I even got to the playoffs last year. I think I missed out by, like, two games. Yeah, very unfortunate. But we're going to change it this year. We're going to get there. We're going to win. That's who we are. Let's see what other third basemen are available. Okay, Cabrian Hayes, Eugenio Suarez, Colt Keith. He has the eligibility. Jorge Soler, it's our turn. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to go ahead and grab Kimbrel. So saves, saves, or holds, 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 saves and holds, saves and or holds. And uh, so we have two guys who are going to be on the IL to start the year, so we're going to pick up other players as well. So... Um, if we don't get everyone we want, oh, wait, J.D. Davis signed with the Athletics. Oh, that's something. He was just released recently by the Giants because the Giants brought, oh, I hear Diaz off the board, Dang on it. Um, because Matt Chapman came in and, um, essentially took his place at third for the Giants, so. Former athletic, now taking the place of uh, him in San Francisco, and former giant taking the place of an athletic. Full circle. We did go ahead and get Zico Duran because with Nate Lowe, he is going to be playing a little bit more. I mean, maybe not first, but draft has been paused. Okay. We'll see what happens. Oh, I didn't even realize Ricky Tideman went. Um, huh, crazy. Crazy. Yuki Matsui. Uh, that pick just came through. Oh, what is going on? Okay. Okay. Do, 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 Oh, Reed Detmers. Boom, boom. Verlin. Jose Leclerc. Oh, uh, we are going to be going after Griffin Jacks. Um, because he's going to be another guy who can be used as setup and or be the saves guy now that Duran is going to be out. Romano also dealing with some injuries, so Eric Swanson, Meza may very well end up being the guy as well. Um, there are a few different options they have in that bullpen in Toronto. Alex Lang, Jason Foley is another great guy to have if you are looking at that bullpen in Detroit. I think they're going to be better this year. Um, I think Alex Lang is eventually going to give way to Jason Foley, even if it's just for a little bit. Um, Jason Foley has better stuff. I think Alex Lane can can maybe throw a little harder, but I would trust Foley more than I would trust Lane. And Robert Suarez. I don't think he's going to keep the closer position. Tanner Scott will absolutely keep the closer position in Miami. That's a good one. Mark Leiter Jr. might also be someone to look at because um, he the manager is not giving anyone any specific role to open up the season. So he definitely could uh, end up being the closer. Mick Abel. Reminds me of Mick Foley. That's someone drafted in one of my leagues. Yeah, but it's paused again. What the heck? What the heck? This ain't cool. Do, 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 
Also, like Gabriel Moreno. Gabriel Moreno, not Gabriel. Do, 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 do. So, AJ Puck is coming off of a season where he they want him to be a starter. Wilson Contreras off the board. Still possible tag, man. Joey Ortiz. Carlos Estevez. We get next pick, and we're likely going to go Griffin Jacks. Waiting, waiting. If Griffin Jacks is, he's not great, so we get Griffin Jacks. Cool. Thyro Estrada came off. I was quick. Dang, I like Thyro Estrada. So next we're going to go Aaron Savali. Brian Wu. You might be wondering, dude, if you know you need a third baseman, why don't you just grab a third baseman? Well, I feel good with the we feel good with waiting. So I like to load up on relief pitchers because I can have one, two, three, four, five, six at any given time. Now you might look down here and say, hey, man, you have more than six relievers. Okay, well, hold tight. Uh, one of the relievers is considered Nick Pavetta. Okay, that takes care of one of them. Um, I'm not super confident in Finnegan. So, not worried about that. Um, so, if, if that's the worry or if that's what you're thinking. you know. Okay, so that's, that's one guy. So, these guys are going to be off. Um, and so, it's, it's fine. I'm not too terribly worried about it. Drew and Duran. Uh, so we're going to go with Savali. Now we're going to uh, look at some of the position players. Crawford gets a lot of walks. I don't know if he's going to be as good as he was last year, but it will be decent. So shortstop. Logan Shanoel. Home runs, Velasquez. Giancarlo Stanton. Eugenio Suarez, a third base opportunity for us. Jimmy Candelario, he's going to be hitting in a hitter friendly park. Um, extra base hits. I like Hunter Renfro. People may not like him, but I like him. I like Mr. Renfro. Going to RBIs, Eugenio Suarez, Jose Brayu, Manessis, Vaughn. Not not to fan. So Jackson Job off the board after me. Or after my pick. Shoulda Imanaga. Um Actually I'm not gonna pick Shanuel. Uh, I'd much rather go with uh, Lamont Wade. Lamont Wade Jr. I don't know why I said it like that. Let me live. See, I like Rojas. But has he improved enough over this offseason to get those numbers up? Do, 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 do. Three more players to pick. We're waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, we're going to be looking at Cabrian Hayes. We're going to be looking at potentially Volan. Going to be looking at. Suarez, Candelario, 
Um, so Whitfield is off the board. Um, I would like to have Jason Foley. I told you you need to be looking at him. Um, we're going to have uh, some guys who, you know, with multi-positionality. Um, would like to grab, I oh, have four guys who can play second base. <laughs> Ryan Pepio, I don't think he's going to be as good as he was last year. Um, Jason Adam, not the guy in Tampa for close, for first closer. Um, Colt Keith was taken. No, it's okay. He's going to be decent this year. He's definitely going to pick it up years to come, but. Ah, do, 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 do. So we got four picks. It's the worst part. Just the waiting part. Just a waiting. Just a waiting. Uh, <clears throat> Carlos Rodon. Carlos Rodon. Why do we keep pausing? Okay, don't don't mind that name. That's my bad. But why why do we keep pausing? I don't understand. AJ Puck. Hmm. Parker Meadows. Good pick. Luis Severino, that means we get Cabrian Hayes. There we go. I think Cabrian should be able to keep up his. Uh, momentum from last year. At least I hope so. <laughs> Just kick something. Ow. Dang on it. You know, what's the average trap position? Who, who's been overlooked? I like Keeper Ruiz. But we already have Real Muto. McNeil, huge disappointment. J.P. Crawford, I think he's going to be good for walks. But as far as shortstop... I feel like I have pretty decent guys. DL Hall off the board. Um, also, Stott, I think, can play short. So now we talked about Diaz, uh, Jordan Westberg. Diaz being uh, able to play first and um, Nate Lowe. So I'm... Pr I'll probably look at Candelario. Um, let's see what other first baseman. I don't like Jake Cronenworth. Yeah, I'll probably go Jamer Candelario. Luke Grayley, he's also a sneaky good pick. Brendan Rogers. Don't know why people are still high on that guy. Just waiting and playing. Boo do do. Boo do 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 do
Jung Ho Lee. Carrie Carpenter. Now it is our pick. Um, who are we talking about? Candelario being the guy. That's who we want because he's going to be first and third eligible. So, yep. Now we have one more player to pick. And now keep in mind. I'm immediately going to be able to put three people on the uh, the IL. So I'll be able to pick three more people up. So I'm looking at um, some guys that um, are going to be on IL this year. Uh, maybe that I can pick up, be sneaky with. I'm trying to think of some other guys. Uh, so, uh, Jonathan Aranda, Aranda, and then Hector Neris. And it's been paused again. Um, who are some other guys who are going to be Robbie Ray? Nope, dang. Um, Sandy Alcantara. Dang. Um, who are some other people in the I.L.? Thinking, 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 think. Justin Lawrence off of the board. I think I can't think of me one. At least not right now. Lars Nutba. I might be thinking, dude, why are you still looking for holds? Why are you still looking at this? Good man. Because if I can essentially get to some of these guys quicker than everyone else, I'm probably going to pick up Matt Brash. I love Matt Brash. He did great for me last year. Big reason why I did. As well as I did. I know Harvey might be another option. So. Let's see who else. Colton Kalser is off the board. Do, 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 do. Tyler Rogers off the board. Makes sense. So what position do we need? Catcher? That's a that's a very strong thing to say we need a catcher. Oh, dang, Bo Nailers. Oh, Louis Varland's. Oh, dang, gone it. Matt Brash, dang, gone it. Colin Holderman. Uh, let's see. Johanna Rojas off the board. Dang, gone, people. Stop taking my guys. None of these, other than Kieber, none of them really stick out to me. Has someone to use my last pick on. Um, do we have uh, any other first baseman? Rooker? Uh, Rooker's an outfielder. Outfield. McCarthy. He should have short shortstop eligibility at some point in time as well. Ah, second base. Velasquez. Mm -hmm. 
Just waiting. And Javon. Giancarlo Stanton. I forgot all about Kershaw. Do we grab Kershaw? We might as well. He is going to be going to our DH spot. So we're going to go over this very quickly. Real. <clears throat> Ooh, catcher, we have JT Romudo. First base, we have Yandy Diaz. Second base, Zach Geloff. Third base, newly acquired Cabrian Hayes. Shortstop, CJ Abrams. Infield position, John India will probably end up having outfield eligibility. Dalton Varsho, lost catcher eligibility. That's unfortunate. Lourdes Gurriel, second outfield position. Brandon Nimmo, third outfield. And Sterling Marte, fourth. Nate Lowe going on the IL. Altuve going to be our main second baseman with Zach Geloff. Uh, Bryson Stott, another second base option, might also have shortstop eligibility. Um, oh, I don't know why it does that. Uh, Jim Candelario with first and third. Then pitchers Robbie Ray going to the IL. Max Scherzer going to the IL. <clears throat> so we have three guys right there going to the IL. Holmes, who's going to get probably saves, potentially some holds. Merrill Kelly, Kevin Gosman, Bobby Miller, Joel Pimps, who is going to get saves. While oh, man, Reed Detmer's gone. Um, Joel Pyom's gonna get the saves while Devin Williams is out, and then we'll get holds. Nick Pavetta, who knows what he's gonna be getting. You know, he if he's gonna be starting the games, I don't know if I'm gonna trust him as much as if he's secondary. Brian Abreu likely going to get holds. Xander Bogarts at shortstop, forgot to talk about him. Lane Thomas, outfielder again. Uh, Chris Bassett, another pitcher for the AL East. Not happy about it. Tim Meza, um, if Romano is not able to go, he's going to pick up even more holds, potentially some saves. Kyle Finnegan, not really confident in him, but he's going to pick up holds and our saves because Hunter Harvey could take over the closer role. Craig Kimbrell, obviously the saves guy. Griffin Jacks got 30 hold, no, 23 holds last year um, and then uh, came over. Hold on. I think he had 30 holds last year. Thing of uh, thigh bar. Anyway, three holes last year. Johan Duran is down, so he's going to be the guy. Aaron Savali, uh, and then Clayton Kershaw going on the aisle. So I'm excited. We're going to reconfigure this uh, lineup right now, and hopefully, uh, let's look at let's see what the standings are. Um, I'm projected to finish eighth. So. We'll see how that goes. In any case, uh, again, I want to thank you for joining me. This is my last draft, so make sure you're watching the others. Um, at least have his background music or something like that as you listen to my wonderful voice and hopefully the cool music I have in the background. Again, this is JK. I want to thank you for sharing part of your day with me.